I'm guessing, based on what I looked up, that you're using some sort of visual UI to configure this stuff, where you're like, you get to like drag and drop stuff, you're using Visual Studio probably. Is this accurate? Yeah, okay, great. It became so overwhelming, I gave up. I think what I really want the takeaway to be from this is that transparently, you started with the easy part that lets you draw little boxes on the UI. And I think that you should try to start with the hard part, because I think if you start with the hard part, when you make it back around to the section that is this, you're going to already have most of the work done. I just want to get you from a point where this feels unattainably difficult to a point where you feel like you have a concrete way to solve this. And I think completing these two simple projects ahead of time is going to really help you do that. I'm Brad and I'm a senior engineer at Fang. Let me teach you how to become a better programmer and a better engineer. If you're enjoying the content, please, I just need you to subscribe. Okay, I really need you to subscribe. Just go down there. It's free. It's totally free. Just hit the button and also maybe toss a little like and there's like a link to my Discord in the description. Okay, I'm asking too much. I'm asking too much. Please just hit the subscribe button. First, I'm going to read off the description here from Ulrich. Attempt at making a POS system for a pizza store. Couldn't get the sequel working correctly. I also did not know anything about C when trying to make this. This is in C sharp. I would make that clarification when you uh, when you talk about it, because C is like a, a hellhole <laughs> that I don't think you would want to be dealing with for most of the time. First thing that I notice. In general, you don't want to include your dependencies inside of repositories. I'm going to guess that you probably don't work with repositories all that often and maybe aren't super familiar with like Git and Git ignores and Git hygiene. But generally speaking, so this is all like library code that you would want to have people download for themselves. The reason I say this is I actually worked at a place where we did this, where not in recent memory, but an old legacy application had committed dependencies and this then encouraged developers to arbitrarily, let's pick this one, to go in and they had actually modified the contents of the library, which is super bad practice. And it meant that it was incredibly difficult, incredibly difficult for someone to like deploy this in a new spot. You really want the person to have to install the dependencies themselves because it will make sure that your code is working with the real dependency, like the real package that is being downloaded. And it guarantees that you're not making modifications, which creates like a really messy, oh, let me email you my version of the code type structure. I asked Ulrich to include some screenshots of this thing running. So you can see that we're doing like a really basic Windows uh, UI type thing with buttons and all of these options because it's for pizza, you know, small, medium, large pizza, etc. I'm guessing based on what I looked up that you're using some sort of visual UI to configure this stuff, like something that doesn't build the UI programmatically. It's like you're dragging and dropping stuff and like putting, you know, typing in place and whatever. Like I looked up windows forms c sharp and found this where you're like you get to like drag and drop stuff you're using visual studio probably is this accurate yeah okay great so off the bat i'm gonna tell you just as a general piece of advice people don't tend to do this often anymore for windows ui declaratively you use xaml so i'm guessing XAML, C sharp. That this is going to look, yeah. So this looks much more like what I would expect. Don't get me wrong. What you're doing is not wrong. You could do this this way. I just want to tell you if you're looking for transferable skills, you might want to look at something more like this 
if you want to build a POS system fast, then what you're doing is totally fine. I just wanted to put it out there. The issue here is there's like a lot after this. And I think you're unfortunately starting at the absolute easiest part, right? You're starting at the easy part where you can just make a, like drag around buttons in a UI, right? You're just kind of going like this. Boop, 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 boop boop and you're dragging and stuff and you're clicking on it like you're kind of doing the super simple part first and i think you're doing that because this is like a crutch for you first of all let's talk about the way that you would actually want to do this is you would have your your front end which can be whatever doesn't really matter you would have a server that Again, doesn't really matter how you want to use this. And then you would have a database. Doesn't matter how you want to use this, right? And the idea is that you would have multiple front ends. You would have multiple clients. They would all talk to the server. And you would then talk to the database. And this server is just running on one of the computers in your store. These are other computers in your store. And you would just have one server that's going to talk to the database. The database can even run on this computer, right? We can make this clear. We can say that this is your, this is one computer. And then the rest of these are one computer. But all of these computers would see all of the orders. Try and start from the server perspective, because I think this is probably where your understanding currently is lacking, where I think that you want to basically try and drill down into this connection and ask yourself, how am I going to write a server and how is that server going to talk to a database? If I were you, you have two new technologies that you need to work with right? You need to work with a server and you need to work with SQL, right? So just, just pick one of them, either one. It doesn't matter, right? Your goal for your server is, uh, one, write some API. Doesn't matter what, you don't have to do the pizza thing yet. Write some API that can handle, get, and post requests can retrieve data and can use data sent to it the other option is you you focus on the sql and you define database a database that you can add records to and delete and query over Right. So again, does not matter what it is, but you want to be able to ideally have multiple tables that you that are connected might be a good idea uh, if you're going to specifically learn SQL and you want to be able to query for data that is across those two tables. I think what I really want the takeaway to be from this is that, I mean, transparently, you started with the easy part that lets you draw little boxes on the UI. And I think that you should try to start with the hard part that is going to confuse you and you feel like you need to make progress on. Because I think if you start with the hard part, when you make it back around to the section that is this, you're going to already have most of the work done. I just wanna get you from a point where this feels unattainably difficult to a point where you feel like you have a concrete way to solve this. And I think, Completing these two simple projects ahead of time 
is going to really help you do that.